can a piece of land that was originally slated for the best of intentions somehow become warped and cursed to an eternity of death and suffering? Those at SCI Crescent would say yes. This 500 acre plot of land at the summit of the Crescent Mountain in Pennsylvania was originally slated to be a home for the mother of owner Andrew Carnegie. After his mother's death, Andrew scrapped those plans and sold the land to the state of Pennsylvania for one dollar on the promise that they would build a sanitarium. The property operated as a sanitarium from approximately 1912 until the 1950s when tuberculosis saw a steep decline. At that point, it was converted to the Lawrence F. Flick State Hospital to treat the mentally ill and remained open until December of 1982. In 1987, the land was converted to the State Correctional Institution of Crescent and operated as a medium security all-male prison until June of 2013, with over a hundred years of pain, suffering, and death seeping into the soil of this land. What will WVPI and Dark Hollow Paranormal uncover as one of the first groups granted access to this former death sentence? My name is Greg Miller. My job at SCI Crescent was uh, maintenance and I ran boilers during that time, pretty much just groundskeeping. It was after SCI Crescent had shut down. We would spend seven days on, for the first seven days it would be 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Have seven days off, somebody else would be here 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. So 12, 12 hour shifts overnight for seven days straight. For the first year, we had security here, so there would be somebody at least in another building in case anything would happen, and we'd contact through walkie-talkies and stuff. But for the most part, for the, I'd say the, what was it, the second and third year, security was gone, so it was just us. We'd have to, we'd have to go beep these little checkers in every building to make sure every so many hours that we were checking for leaks, alarms, like anything. So we always had to prove that we were in the buildings. I remember showing up and as soon as we got get here, we radio up to security and ask, have you guys seen anything? Because they would beep the things too and do their patrols. And uh, I guess there was a leak in the downstairs somewhere. So we had to trace lines and try to figure out where to shut off radiators and stuff like that. And I came into this building, met the security guy, and he was, he was already running late. He was supposed to do his shift change and leave. So he showed me what I needed to see, and then he left, and he radioed me and said, hey, do you need anything? I'm leaving. I was like, no, I'm all good. And in the room above me, it sounded like one of the big desks slid the whole way across the floor. And I was like, is other security above me? Was that, was that you guys up there? And he's like, no, I'm about to get in my car and leave <laughs> like nobody else is here and so I, I immediately came upstairs and checked it and the desk was moved across the floor and nobody else was around so that's one thing that i can couldn't explain it wasn't rattling pipes it wasn't somebody else running across i don't know what it was but something moved it plenty of weird noises like <laughs> just like anybody else would have, you know, like strange things going on when absolutely nobody's on the property. I mean, we, we would lock those gates down at the very beginning and stuff and kept a close eye on the place. And there were times where like 
when she's going to check the buildings, it sounded like somebody beating on the metal uh, screens on the window in the basement. Like when I would leave for my days off, I would forget about this place because it was just, it was like being nervous for seven days straight because you never know what's going to happen. We would call it the dark man because it just seemed like a dark shadow following you everywhere around this place when you'd show up. Some days you'd come in and it'd be a good energy. Some days it was just like really dark and depressing. In the wintertime when it's gray and snowy, I couldn't imagine being a prisoner here during those times and being isolated like that. I almost felt like a prisoner here because I was all alone. I think it desensitized me to fear after this place. When it was bad vibe night, we would try to stay out of the buildings as much as we can because it was just too much, man, it was weird. It's, it's hard to explain. You'd have to, spend, you'd have to spend a good bit of time here to understand what this place brings. to me. Hopefully one of the cameras picked it up. If there's someone down here and that's you trying to communicate with us, can you do that again? Or do something to get our attention? We just here to talk to you. This is... Yeah, we'll slip and fall. Probably turn that corner and turn over. Oh, there's something in the corner. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Oh, there's something in the corner. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Oh, there's something in the corner. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Oh, there's something in the corner. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Oh uh, yeah, this is the watch step here. Oh, there's what? No, there's oh, this is in the air room. This is the dental room. Oh, that's pretty. That's 
you there was a lot of pain in here. Yeah. Alright, if there's anybody down here, we'd really like to communicate with you. I know you really haven't had a whole lot of people like us here to talk to you before, but I promise we're not going to hurt you. All we want to do is learn about you, your story, and the history of this building. So I have a little gray box in my hand. I'm going to press a button. When I press that button, I'm going to ask you some questions. If you come up and speak as loudly as you can into this box, I'll play it back and you'll be able to hear your words. It's probably been a long time since you heard your voice. So just answer as loudly and as clearly as possible, please. Can you say hi or hello to let us know you're here? What was this room used for? How did they treat the people who stayed in this building or on this property? What the fuck? What? It says, I'm here with you. No, it doesn't. No. I swear to God. Yeah. yeah. It's definitely there. Hello? 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 Get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, I could hear it from over here. Get out of 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 Get out. That was nuts. That was three that get out. very that was... clear responses. And the first time we've used the right. <laughs> first, yeah. I, I swear it said it's my room, get out. I very well could have listen to my playback. That's what I thought. If that was you, that's exactly what we want. We want you to talk so we can hear you and we can have a conversation. I know, like I said, you probably haven't had many people here, and you might feel like we're invading your space, but I promise we're not trying to. We just want to talk. So I'm going to do that again, and if you can come up and talk to us again, that would be awesome. Why would you want us to get out so bad? Does it upset you to have people here interacting? Did you hear like a voice like? Yeah. My noise, my nose made a noise, so I wonder if that's what it was. Sounded like an audible voice right. coming from up this uh, direction. And my nose made like a high pitched like noise. Like this was like a voice kind of sound, not like uh, a nose. Okay. I don't like you. Why would you want us to get out so 
Is there somewhere else that we should go? What happened? I just heard the movement behind me. It sounded like somebody was walking around in there. Did you guys not hear it? Mm -hmm. No. Because it wasn't quiet. If that was you, can you make another loud noise so we know for sure that that's you? If you really want us to get out, then do something that'll make us go. All right, we were downstairs and we were able to get somebody to talk to us. It... What was that? What was that? I didn't hear anything. I heard the movement. Yeah, sound like footsteps or something. Can you do that again? If you weren't downstairs, what we're doing is trying to have a conversation with anybody who's here right now. I have this little gray box in my hand. I'm going to press a button. I'm going to ask you some questions. If you come up and speak as loudly and as clearly into this box as you can, I'll play it back and we'll hear your answer. We'll be able to hear your, hear your voice. Is there anybody in this area with us right now? Can you tell us your name or anything about yourself? Can you tell us why you were here? Are you trying to figure out how to do this? We heard something. We just couldn't make out what you were saying. Can you speak a little bit more clearly, please? Did you say that Is you that don't not your stomach? Is that not your stomach? Wasn't well, my stomach? It didn't even sound like a stomach. Or like it sounded like a growl, like a yeah. 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 I heard it like come from you. No, it I sounded like it came from Lindsay. No, it sounded like it was right here. <laughs> I didn't hear anything. I thought it was you. It wasn't me. Well, that was I weird. didn't hear anything. I didn't either. No, I didn't either. It sounded like it came from, from right here. Yeah, yeah, between us. It sounded like it came from over there. <laughs> no, it sounded like between us. Because I looked at Scott like... Okay, what we got here, we got uh, the Tombstone Shadow Court, and we're in the attic of what building is this, Lindsay? This is building six. In uh, the attic, or top level of uh, building six, and we're going to try to communicate with the spirits with our with our radio here. If, uh, if there's anyone here, could you say hi or hello?
Is there somewhere else we should go to talk to you? What could the end of the phone line? Probably a window. Okay. Did you get a reflection? Yeah, it's okay. Well, I mean, I was getting it. So, uh, person. Oh my god. <laughs> It was you?
Have you been following us since we got here?
Is there anybody here with us? I'm trying to. Eventually. Does it take a lot of time to build up energy to communicate? It makes me want to. That's good if we want to talk to you. Can you try to tell us a name? Can you tell us what kind of building that we're in? Oh, that was like a, like a yell or a scream. That was weird. Is somebody in trouble? Was screaming a normal noise that people heard around here? You can go. Do you not like me being here? I have to. I'm going to take him. Oh, please don't hurt him. He just wants to hear your message. I'm in fear. There's no need to be afraid of us. We're not here to hurt you. I got to get out. Have you ever had somebody come here to talk to you before? Feels like something's touching my hair already. Women only. It's time to lock down. Go to your cell. The voices are like really faint. There was just a fucking loud noise in out in the hallway. Okay. What was that noise out in the hallway? Out in the common area? Scott. Touched her? Where'd you touch her at? Can you touch Vanessa on the shoulder? Yes. Okay, we'll do it. If you can do that, I'll be impressed. I think you're a weak inmate. I just heard a noise coming from in this room. I don't know how, there's nothing in here. Pipe chase over there. We can't. Cover? Do you need another cover? Are you cold? No. This felt something touch my hand. I hope there's no bugs, but I felt something touch my hand. I'm not seeing any bugs. Did you just touch his arm? Was that you? Ha ha, I just laughed, like ha ha. Was that funny? Do you think it's funny? Are you able to touch his other hand? It's okay.
all the way, all of them. It's okay for you to touch his other hand. All of them. What about all of them? How do you feel about people coming here to try to communicate with you? Scott, go. Can you do something to make me go? Don't blink. I just fucking heard another noise out in that fucking calm area. You're scared. I'm nervous. That's... Are we in danger being here? Yes. What will happen if we don't leave? I didn't hear you. What will happen if we don't leave? You'd better run. What will happen if we don't? Something bad? Can you tell me? Uh -huh. Can you tell me what that bad thing is? You? I'm bad? All of you. All of us. We're not here to do anything bad to anybody. We just want to communicate and hear your story. And hear all, story. all the men? Is it just the men that you don't like? I feel, feel like someone's touching me. Are you touching JJ's other hand? If I did it. If that was you, thank you. Because I did ask you to touch his other hand and you did touch it. Thank you. That lets him know that you're there and it lets me know that you're you're there. I appreciate that. Something one hundred percent just touched my fucking face. Are you touching JJ's face? Shoulder. 
Trying to get comfortable? Oh, something's touching me. It's freaking me out. I want it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, I want to sit back down, but I'm, like, freaked out. <laughs> hey, you, you can't hurt Vanessa. Get back. So, something fucking keeps touching me. That's crazy. You okay? Are you messing with Vanessa? Dude, I'm... What the heck? I swear to God, something keeps, like, touching me, and it feels like, like, it feels like hand. Like, it feels like an actual hand. Like, it was, like, on my back. That just, like, really scared me. It felt like... That was really weird. I was hearing noises down in the common area, too. I don't know. Like, I got... The place is legit. Some, I didn't, something about it. I didn't mean to, like, jump up. Like, holy no. crap. Because it literally just felt like someone's hand on my back, like, was small on my back, like, just rubbed across it. And it, like... Can you see me? Watching. What were you sent to prison for? What's your crime? I, uh... How long were you sentenced? I just heard a motherfucking noise out in the common area again. Hurt you. Move it. Freaking goosebumps. Are you trying to get the uh, the shank? I'm like shaking. I'm like. I am too. Very goosebumps. Look at this shit. It's crazy. Yeah. Where'd you, where'd you commit your crime? Stab you. Stab who? Can you grab that, can you grab the shank on the table? I grabbed it. What the fuck? Lindsay. Yeah, that's my name. Can Lindsay, you... it's said it twice. Yeah? Nice to meet you. Can you tell me what the gentleman's name is that's laying on the bunk? Go. Why do you want me to go? How are you? I'm good, thanks for asking. How are you? My head hurts. Why does your head hurt? Real bad. Did something happen to make your head hurt? Murdered me. I just got full body cold chills on that last one. Ooh. I'm sorry that that happened to you. Can you tell Temple. me? Were you hit in the head? Well, I'm getting like full body chills. I'm getting chills just hearing this. I feel like something changed. I feel like something happened. Something's different. I can't, like my whole body, I got like that tingly feeling on my whole body, it won't stop. Are you affected? It's, it's him. Is he the person that murdered you? It was split.
Were you hit in the head? What do I do? Can you tell us who he is? They're in here. That was super clear. They're in here. Are you saying the person that murdered you is in here with us also? Look for me. Can you tell me where to look? Look. Do right I, now. Do I need to look out the door? I've been here. You're here in the room with me. Everywhere. Anywhere. You're everywhere and anywhere. I can't see you. I'm sorry. I don't see anything. It's felt like a, it almost felt like a bed shook. Are you shaking the bunk? I heard him. Heard him or heard him, I couldn't tell. Can you tell me his name? I can. Can you? Let me out. What about your name? Can you tell me your name? Your ankle? What about my ankle? I 
Sir Namav. Now tell me your name. <clears throat> I guess. I just want to know who I've been talking to. Can you tell me how old you are? Only you. Only me what? The one. gonna sound super weird and I don't know why. I don't ever get like images or this like and, like I'm seeing things but for some reason I just got the image of a guy taking a gun, turning it and putting it in his mouth. Like mm -hmm. I don't know why that vision just popped into my head out of nowhere. That's, that's it was like random but super clear. Oh my goodness. Are you showing him images of something? Did somebody commit suicide in here? I guess it's getting chills for some reason. That's I almost did. You almost did. But you didn't you didn't pull the trigger? I just got like super emotional. Like I'm, I'm on the verge of tears right now. Like, I could literally cry right now. Are you letting JJ feel your feelings? Something's messing with me. Can you tell me why you felt that way? That you needed to do that? I'm broken. Why do you think that you're broken? I'm gonna end it. Why do you think that there's no way out? I got legit like in tears almost. I don't know, this is a really weird feeling. I don't think I've ever Can you tell me how old you are or how old you were? I've never really felt something like this before. This is this is weird. Are you letting him feel how sad you were? It was like a real sad, I was like, man. I'm here by you.
This is probably like the saddest like experience I've ever had in the economy. Like this is a fake. Like I legitimately have I like crime. Like I don't know like if somebody was like committed suicide or had serious thoughts of suicide, but they were definitely so overwhelmed with emotion. I like, said never ever felt like this before. I asked why would you why would you do that? Because you said that you had that image and I said, Were you trying to kill yourself? And I think you said you tried or something. And I said, why would you do that? And you said, because I'm broken. And I like, my heart just sank. Like, I don't think this I've ever- weird. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, just like, I know this isn't me. No. Like, there's no I don't, I've to never be seen you cry. I think whatever, whoever it is we're talking to is letting you feel what they felt at that time. I just feel like they sat in this bed and or laid in this bed or somewhere and like, that's what they thought or like they felt they like they felt, were broken or, and they felt like that was their only way out. I don't know. It was like a spontaneous image that popped into my head and I don't know why. Like I've never it's happened like maybe once or twice ever during Estes. But I've never like just I was just like overwhelmed with emotion. I just, and like, I was getting coming. direct responses out of that. Like I still feel weird. I think I need to get out of here. Yeah. I feel like there's just like. What was that? I like took a deep breath in. Uh -huh. yeah, that's what you heard. I don't know. I feel like. I don't feel right. Like I'm not possessed or anything. No, I just feel like, like it's making me feel like depressed. Yeah, I just feel like. never had anything like that happen before. Um, yeah, like I was almost on the verge of tears, like whenever you said I'm broken, like my heart sank, like I felt really bad. I don't know why. I guess I'm just feeling whatever they felt. Right. Or, 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 man, that's like heavy, heavy, heavy stuff. Ooh, man, what can I say about SEI Crescent? The investigation at Crescent, hands down, is my favorite investigation to date. Um, this location I hold very near and dear to my heart. The place is definitely like no other that we've been to. When we first got there, um, I was blown away. It is a paranormal hotspot. Um, and you never know what kind of spirit that you're going to encounter. You never know who you're going to encounter or what you're going to encounter while you're there. I've never encountered a place quite like Crescent. It's, it's one of the largest places I've ever had the opportunity to get to investigate. Before we even investigated, just coming into the location and seeing the magnitude and so many buildings and the acreage and then diving into the history and hearing the stories about the things that happened here. Um, I grew up local to the area. I've always known its history. Um, I've always known that it had been a tuberculosis hospital, that it um, had been a mental hospital, and then it was a prison. Um, so ever since its closure in 2013, the only thing I could think about is how can I get in to investigate this property? Because it has to be haunted. With a history like that, how how is it not haunted? You've got people that died of tuberculosis. You've got people that um, suffered with mental illness. And we all know the mistreatment that took place in asylums and several other locations um, regarding mental illness and the misunderstanding and the mistreatment with that. Um, but then also a prison. Prisons are not good places to begin with. Um, but this location in particular 
Um, there's news articles that talk about the mistreatment that took place um, to the prisoners directly before its closure. From being a sanitarium to being a mental hospital to being a prison that housed serial killers, I mean, the history is just unbelievable. Any place uh, like a prison, uh, it's it's going to hold it's going to hold some energy to it, and uh, some of that energy could be sad, you know, desperate. Uh, some of it can be uh, really negative as well. So, what I did not expect from this investigation was to walk away feeling sad. <clears throat> I don't think that I have ever almost cried at an investigation for sadness reasons. I've almost cried because I was so scared, but never because I truly felt bad for a spirit. Um, and the uh, investigation that we had in E-Block, the Estes session that JJ did, um, left a huge imprint on me. Um, I did not um, expect uh, the responses that we were getting. Um, whatever spirit that we were communicating with that night was definitely sad and depressed. Um, and it sounded like they were trying to tell us that they had attempted suicide. They were physically letting JJ fill their depression. I have never been so emotionally affected as I was in that cell block during my Estes session. Whatever was there, whoever was there, I was physically feeling the, their anxiety and their sadness and their depression. And it, it took me over to the point where I was crying. And there's no reason for me to just burst into tears out of nowhere. That is something that for years and years to come, I will remember. What else can I say? I'm really thankful for the opportunity that I got to investigate and be one of the first people in there. So thank you to Lindsay from Dark Hollow Paranormal and um, Lauren from um, Big House Produce for allowing us to have access and to have the opportunity that we did to investigate. A big shout out to Big House Produce for having WVPI and Dark Hollow Paranormal out as the first teams uh, to get to investigate SCI Crescent. It was uh, it was a it was a real honor to be able to do that and to be able to investigate such uh, such grounds that have such history and it just such a beautiful place and it. it it was a it was a really great experience, and, and I really do thank them for having us out. Uh, for all those teams out there that are looking for a place to investigate, I, I highly recommend it. Big big shout out to Big House Produce that owns the property now. Um, they are doing amazing work at this location. Um, and letting other paranormal investigators come in and investigate the property, um, holding several other events there that are allowing people to come in and explore the property during the day um, and not just at nighttime. It's truly beautiful. Uh, we were one of the first groups that were allowed into this property. Um, so we are very, very grateful um, to Big House Produce. Thank you. We want to give a special thank you to Dark Hollow Paranormal and Lindsay for spearheading uh, this investigation. A massive thank you to Big House Produce, who were incredibly gracious in everything. They went out of their way to make sure that we were comfortable and we had everything that we needed for such an intense investigation. So if anybody is looking for something to do, they run a lot of tours there, not only for the paranormal, but for uh, urban exploring and photography. Just getting in to see this property is 100% worth it, and they're putting all of the money that comes in to good use. So make sure you check them out. Also, if you haven't already, I know a lot of the analytics on our uh, page shows that about half the people watching these videos aren't subscribed. It doesn't cost anything. Just go down, push the little subscribe button, turn the notifications on. We're going to be posting a lot more content, so make sure that you're prepared. Subscribe, please. Make sure you like, comment if you can, uh, and we'll be seeing you guys soon.